Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw my channel icons that I do, like my YouTube channel, it's like a little cartoony icon, so I'm going to teach you how to draw those. Okay, so first, you download GIMP, which is the software I'm using, there will be a link in the description of this video, so look down below if you don't have it. So what you're going to do is get the select tool right over there, and select the parts that you want to erase. Select that, get an eraser, and erase. Then do the same for all the spots that aren't the head and the hat. So you select those, and you erase. And uh, since this part's a little repetitive, I'm just going to speed the video up, so here you go. Okay, so what we are left with here is the hat and the face. So what you want to do is get the select tool, select the hat, go to the scale tool right over here, click on the hat, click the middle of it, and align it with your head right over here. So right about there. Okay, so now if you look over here, it says floating section. Uh, you want to anchor that down right there. Right click and hit anchor layer. Okay, so now we have this, uh, this little picture here, so we'll maximize that. What you want to do is go up to the top right of your uh, keyboard. It depends on what kind of keyboards you have, but most of them is top right and hit print screen. Then you want to go down to, you want to open Microsoft Paint and hit paste. Then go to save as and just name it whatever you want. I really don't care what you name it just if you're happy with it I'm happy so save as I'll just name this some uh, thing um, screen shot thingy there we go screenshot thingy okay now go back to GIMP and open this little template there will be a download for this template down below in the description if you were wondering. So, what you want to do is open up your files, find your screenshot thingy. And where are your screenshot thingy? There we go. Okay, now open. Yes. Screenshot thingy. Where are you? Okay, here we go. Now drag that over to the little layers area. You can X out of the uh, files if you want, but it doesn't really matter. So now zoom in, get the select tool, and select your head. Now what you want to do is hit Control C, Control V, and it'll have a little floating selection right here. Now what you want to do is hit to new layer. Then you can just delete screenshot thingy and the head will still be there. So zoom back out and go to the scale tool and enlarge the head right there, like that. Enlarge that and hit scale. So now you need to configure which layers are in which position. So the pasted layer needs to be down at the very bottom and the shading layer needs to be at the very top. So now what you want to do is add a new layer this will be the drawing layer. And have it right below the border. And now, you get to uh, draw your lines. It, you get to like cartoonify it, I guess you could say. So what you want to do is go over to pencil. And for size, I like to use 73 because it's like, it's a nice bold pencil tip. But it's not like, it's not too bold and it's not too thin. So I'll speed this part up too. Okay guys, so I'm done drawing my, uh, my actual cartoon thing. So now what you want to do is click on the border layer 
and right click and hit merge down. So now you have one layer that's just the drawing and the border. So now go to the pasted layer and hit the little color picker tool and select the color that you want for this. In this case, I'm doing the goggles, so I'm getting that nice yellow. And go down and click bucket fill. And go back over to the layer and just dump the colors in. Just like that. And same thing with the hair. Get that brown. And we'll dump it in the eyebrows. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to draw my little, uh, my little hair thing in the middle. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, size 73. There we go. Uh, okay. Oh, wrong color. Under pencil. Select color black. Okay. Now we can do it. And there we go. So, color picker tool again. Let's get this nice brown here. And we'll bucket fill that hair piece. Okay, so we got the mustache, the hair, and I mean the skin and the eyes. Oh, wrong one. Okay, here we go. Bucket. Let's go over the eyes. Okay, now skin. Okay guys, so it looks like we're done. And um, if you're wondering how I got my straight lines, you just hold the shift button from the last place that you click. I'll demonstrate. So you do a little one of these. And it gives you like a line right there. So I'll undo this. And it looks like we're done, so if you like that video, share it with your friends so they can make icons. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already, because we, uh, we've got more stuff like this on our channel, and I think it's pretty neat. So, check us out if you haven't already, and like the video, and I will see you guys later.